Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are going to change or I just fix the vanos on my E46 M3. And I have my guy David, he's here actually doing the work. He's on the back and I'm going to show you pretty much the steps that it takes to complete the job. I'm not going to do the job myself because as you can see, he's right here. He's doing a job. So on today's video, we're pretty much gonna detail why you need to do Venos on your car and why it is important for your engine to have the right valve timing. Perfect. Perfect. This is what the S54 engine looks like when you remove the, the cover. And when you have your valve cover off, you can see the camshaft and the vanos normally sits here. And luckily for me, my tabs were good. <laughs> good and so what the job that we're going to do today, we're going to adjust the shims. And then the shims are literally looking right in there. It's like little things that sit in there. And then that's what adjusts the timing on when this rotates. And this guy can do a better job at explaining them. I'm just rumbling here. Yeah, this, and, uh, yeah the shims are adjusted. Um, when these valve lo uh, cam loads are up and basically we'll remove these um, these clips and slide the follower over and underneath the follower is a, is a uh, our shims and what they look like I have a bunch of shims from previous jobs but uh, these are the shims and there's varying sizes so you measure and if it's out of spec you measure this take the shim out measure it and then you um, you put in the next available size up okay so if it comes out as 220 you would put a 224 in so. nice 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 yep so this is what i'm gonna get today we're gonna fix all the vinyls kind of like a rebuild and then do the valve adjustment and we're also going to do a vac um exhaust hub with a larger tabs yeah and that'll prevent these from ever breaking so yep yep so i'm gonna put david contact on the description in case you want to do this job you can contact him he's pretty great and he can give you all any details about part links and whatnot so if you have questions reach out to him i'm the wrong guy for this in this case <laughs> so i'm going to let you guys know again once we are done but this is pretty much what's going on my car the engine looks really 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 nice for 144,000 miles looks excellent. this is not looking bad not at all all right so i'm gonna show you guys uh when we are oh, done one more thing mm -hmm. you want to show them these are uh, also these cam bolts um the uh, intake cam bolts tend to come loose these guys okay. so there's updated cam bolts that we're going to put in there also and use some blue loctite nice. so they won't uh, come loose nice, nice, nice. another update you can see here that we already put the vac motorsport exhaust hub right here and you can see the tabs here are much beefier now Compared to the factory one, if I take the factory one, you can see here the size difference between the factory right here and then the vac. Now, this is just so that whenever we put the exhaust pump, it's going to fit better and would not have that vibration noise that sometimes people will hear. Vac Motorsport, you can put that right here if you don't want to use the basin and use your factory exhaust hub pump disc. Now, this one, you guys know, upper chain guide. As you know broken most of the time these are always broken that's the new one in there i'm not sure if you can see right there that's a new one and it's a better material and that one will last longer this is one of the reasons why it's important to do the vanos because you have a chance to address all these things now you can see we have new bolts also here it's going to talk them soon enough and yeah that's it man now this you can resell it if you want I probably will resell this if someone is interested into this let me know and I can ship it to you for a you know fairly price but this is much better but one thing I have to mention is that if you want to use the factory one it is recommended to use the basin oil pump disc because that one will fit with smaller holes compared to the vac that actually have bigger tab where you can use with a factory uh, oil pump disc so those are the two options either you go with a vac and keep your factory oil pump disc or you go with the basin disc and keep your factory you can also get the basin um, disc because it's just a different material it's much better it's a little sturdier here if you want to ensure that your tabs here are not broken another point that i wanted to make is that whenever you open your valve cover 
you can see that um, you, your engine, pretty much the top part is exposed. And depending on how clean this is, it will tell you the, a little bit about the history on the car. If you see there's a lot of gunk and black dark residue, that means probably the previous owner or one of the previous owner were not taking care of the car properly or changes were not done, you know, when they're supposed to. This is pretty much how you want your engine to be. Like this means that oil was changed, you know, fairly decent time and yeah this is nice here whenever you are about to do the valve adjustment because after he mounts the vinyls that's pretty much what he's going to do that's why you have these things right here um you have to put that i mean i'm not a big into this but i just kind of know the procedure to do but i prefer david to do it because you know he has the experience that's why i contacted him to come and help me out with this job the engine base looking nice and he did remove the fan and now i can clearly see probably we'll have to clean up that oil right here on the belt but in the future we'll have to change these belts actually put a electric fan here because that will probably help me out this is all the part this is my valve cover looking really nice and that's the fan that's everything else right there so back at Toyvex E46 M3, we did the uh, Vanos bulletproofing, valve adjustments, and the um, VAC engineering exhaust hub. So, as well as all new seals, Bison seals, and this is our first startup. And as expected, she sounds beautiful. You don't hear the ticking anymore, huh? Yeah, it's, that's that upper chain tensioner. Say it again? Okay. Right, right. Well, first start up with the Vanos because the pressure, it's not pressurized. It would have went, should have went like this a little bit. Well, in the very first, for like a second. Maybe indeed, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Nice, man. David, man, you did, you did, you did me dirty, man. You did me a fantastic job. That's what I mean yeah, by man. dirty. Oh, man. Woo! Yeah, she's very rock. Oh, you know, we're going to take her down the block. Yes. The Vanos is swapped, rebuilt, I meant to say, and valve has been adjusted. Engine is clean and better. I took it on a test drive. Man, the car, I feel like the car gained a little bit more horsepower, and it is just nice, driving nice and lovely. Man. Thank you again, David, for stopping by, helping me do this really quick. I'm going to put his information on the description. If you want to get your Venos done on your E46 M3, hit him up, man. You know, he's, he's a cool dude. He's going to give you so much technical details about the S54 engine. I did learn a lot from him today. And yeah, this is a job that I really wanted someone that has a lot of experience really tackling it and, you know, for, for me because I just didn't feel comfortable doing it myself. Man, Vanos is something that, you know, it, it controls the, the car and the valve adjustment is important because when you have the wrong timing, it, the car will not perform the way it is supposed to. The Vano also help adjust the, the, the timing on the car. And so all of that work together. So whenever you're doing your timing or Vanos, it's good to just do them as a pair so that you have a good engine. Now, Vanos, usually once you do it, you change the part put good part you may not have to do it again for another 100,000 miles but what I'm going to say is that each time that you do your valve cover gasket you check for the vinyls just to make sure that your tabs are good or whatnot but it is important and if you get colds you might just swap the solenoid and fix that just to make your car back in shape and ready to go this was it for the, today's video so um, like I said if you have any 
you want more detail about vinyls, whatever, please reach out to David. He can explain better than I do. I just know that I needed to change mine because, you know, mine was starting to act up a little bit. I was hearing a little bit of noise, and now the noise decreased a bunch, and I feel like I've gained a little more horsepower out of the car the way it is now. All right, man. Again, my name is Theo. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.